In ancient times, people used to travel mainly on foot. It was only later that animals were used for travel and to transport goods. Invention of wheel made transportation easier and quicker. It not only saved energy but also made life far more comfortable. The bicycle, car and trains all move on wheels. Transport on land The improvement in the design of the wheel over a period of time revolutionized the means of transport. The invention of the steam engine and later petrol and diesel engines helped the development of the modern system of transport. Transport on water Boats and ships are used to transport human beings as well as goods from one place to another over water. Transport in air Aeroplanes, helicopters, gliders, etc. are used for transporting goods as well as human beings through the air. Spaceships are used for transportation to other heavenly bodies such as Moon and Mars. Concept of Measurement Measurement plays an important role in our day-to-day -day life. You must have observed your mother purchasing vegetables and fruits from a vendor. How does the vendor measure the weight of the vegetables? You need to know the exact weight so that the amount of money to be paid can be calculated. Exact measurements and not rough estimation are necessary to get the results we want and hence there is a need for accurate measurements. Thus, measurement is a process by which an unknown quantity is compared with a standard quantity of same kind. Measurement has two parts. First is the magnitude and second is the unit. History of measurement In Indian astrology, Kal was used for time period and Gati was used for speed. During Middle Ages, fingers, hands and bamboos were used for measuring length. From Middle Ages till the arrival of metric system, yards, foot and inches were used in our country to measure lengths. Measurement of length using non-standard unit It is often important to know how far a place is so that we can have an idea of the means we use to reach that place, walk, take a car, bus or a train, a ship or an aeroplane. We also need to know the length and width of some objects. Let us try to measure the length of a pencil. Let us take a pin as the unit of length. Use it to measure the length of the pencil. Let it be six times the length of the given pin. We say that the length of the pencil is six times the length of the pin. Thus, measurement means the comparison of an unknown quantity with some known quantity of the same kind. The known fixed quantity is called a unit. Measurement is expressed in two parts. One part is a number and second is a unit. Measurement of width using non-standard unit As we measure the length of a pencil using a pen, similarly, we can also measure the width of a table using hand span. Animation showing measuring a table using hand spans. Let us do an activity to understand this. Some students of grade 6b work in a group and each of them uses their hand span as a unit to measure the width of the table. They then record their observations in the table given here. We can observe in the table that all the measurements aren't equal. Perhaps the results are different as the length of hand span of different students may not be the same. Therefore, when we tell a measurement using our hand span or length of a foot as a unit to others, they will not be able to understand how big the actual length is unless they know the length of our hand span or foot. We see therefore that some standard units of measurement are needed that do not change from person to person. Standard Units of Measurement To have uniformity in units of measurement, scientists all over the world have accepted a set of standard units of measurement. This system of units is known as the International System of Units, SI units. The SI unit of length is a meter. 
A meter scale is shown in the figure. We can also see a 15 centimeter scale used in the geometry box. One meter is divided into 100 equal divisions called centimeter. One centimeter has 10 equal divisions called millimeter. Thus, one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. For measuring large distances, meter is not a suitable unit. We need a larger unit of length. It is called kilometer. One kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Measurement of length using a ruler. Following points should be remembered when measuring the length of an object with a ruler. The ruler should be placed along the length of the object to be measured. The ruler's zero mark should be placed at one end of the object to be measured. The mark corresponding to the other end of the object gives the length of the object. If the edge of the ruler is broken, measure from any appropriate mark, say one centimeter instead of zero. Then subtract one centimeter from the final reading. While taking the reading, keep your eye vertically above the object. Any deviation from this position will give a wrong measurement or an error in the measurement. This is due to the thickness of the ruler or the scale and is known as error due to parallax. Measurement of time In early days, when clocks were not discovered, people were measuring approximate time with the help of natural phenomenon, such as time duration between two flowering seasons for a tree is approximately one year. Time interval between two full moon is one month. Time interval between consecutive sun rising is one day. Ancient people had developed time measuring instruments like sand clock. Let us do an activity of making a sand clock. Take two glass bottles with cork, thin glass tube and sand. Remove the cork of the bottles and stick them as shown. From the center of both the cork, pass the glass tube and breaks its excess part. Fill the sand in one bottle and insert the cork in it. Now fix another empty bottle on it in inverted position. Invert the sand clock and allow the sand to fall from upper bottle to lower bottle. After one minute, remove the upper bottle and take out the remaining sand from it again and fix it. Again place it in inverted position and note down the time by the sand to move in lower bottle. In this way, prepare a sand clock of one minute. Nowadays, time is measured by using a clock or a watch. We measure time in seconds, minutes and hours. The short hand tells about hours. The long hand tells about minutes. The hand moves this way around the clock. To measure long time interval, the units like day, month or year are used. Following are the relation for units. 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. 60 minute is equal to 1 hour. 24 hour is equal to 1 day. 365 days is equal to 1 year.